I still feel like I'm living in some kind of fantasy. Like, it's just a dream. Oh, I forgot to tell you. That's the wagon that was in The Wizard of Oz. Welcome to Vardolandia. Hi, my name is Rachel Negretti Thorson. Today we are in front of my Vardo wagon. It has been dated back to the 1800s, we've been told. This is a Vardo wagon that has been used in a lot of movies and television shows, most notably The Wizard of Oz, also in Carnival, and a movie called Pinocchio. <laughs> The dimensions of the Vardo itself is 7 by 12, 84 square feet. You would never know that you're in the middle of a city in Los Angeles. It's a place where your mind can rest and it can relax. And it's a place where your mind can be free to remember those dreams that you had when you were a child, to remember what that feels like, to let your imagination run free. Let me give you a tour. When I try to describe this place to my friends and family, nobody believes it at first. It just sounds so fantastical. So the way that I wanted to decorate this was that I wanted it to look like it was well-traveled, that it had pieces that had been around for a long time, that had their, their own lives before finding this place. This table, um, I really like this because um, it's a drop leaf table, so it turns into a triangle. When I have guests or company, I like to put it out so we can have a cup of tea. These teacups are from a tea set that were my husband's great grandmother's, and they're very precious to us. I like to bring them in here for special occasions. They feel fancy. This is what I've turned into a curtain. I found it from a shop on Instagram. It's like the curtain that they hang in, um, in a tent as you walk through. So the lamps came with the wagon. Not that I needed a selling point, but it definitely took it over the top. This was in here when we brought the wagon here. This was still hanging and it just felt like it should stay. I think it looks great. So a lot of these pieces we found in thrift stores or consignment stores close by, but you know, I'm a working mother and sometimes I don't have time, but Target is awesome too. <laughs> this Opal House bedding is fantastic. So this bed is super comfy. Um, you get a really, really good sleep on this, on this mattress. It's a full size, it's RV full size. So it's not super huge, but we've had people here that were not small people and they, felt super comfortable. I suggest that you really like the person that you come with. <laughs> the Eye of Horus pillow I got at the Tutankhamun Museum show here in Los Angeles. I love that symbol. It's a falcon. It's about higher consciousness, seeing things from a higher perspective. Horus is a really powerful um, energy and so I've just always been attracted to that symbol. The Vardo itself cost $13,000 and we estimate that we've put in about $45,000 to $50,000. One day my husband had asked me, you know, I'm thinking about building an Airbnb in the backyard. What kind of structure do you visualize back there? When he asked me, I had this whole Pinterest file full of Vardo wagons. He said, you're not gonna believe this, but I found two and one is an hour away. He said, do you wanna make an appointment? I was like, yeah, <laughs> we better make an appointment. And so I'm in total awe of what I'm seeing in front of me. I can't believe that I'm seeing one in real life. He says, oh, I forgot to tell you, that's the wagon that was in The Wizard of Oz. And I crumpled over, fell to my knees bawling because how, how did we find the actual wagon that I wanted when I was five? Like, how did that happen? I didn't even know I could look for it. I'm not really sure what you would call this, but I thought it would be a great piece to house all of the utensils and um, necessary items you'd need for this day. So you'll find sugar cubes and creamer in there and plates and dishes. You're gonna need a mini fridge, right? So you have to keep the bubbly cold. I want people to feel rest and I want them to experience that child 
fantasy. Experience that place where your imagination runs free and you can be a fortune teller or you can be a circus clown. There's so many things that this structure lends itself to where you find yourself in a whole other world. So you may have wondered, well, where do I go to the bathroom? Don't worry, we've taken care of that. Welcome to the water closet. I'm just in love with this shower. These tiles we got from the remnant piles at Auto Brick for a few hundred dollars. These are tiles that are worth like 10 to $35 each. It was a victory for sure. I wanted to recreate a quilt that my Nana had made many years ago that we lost over the years. And this just fit the bill. The colors, the hues, it was like magic finding this pile. And I could see it as all these tiles were laying on the, on the palette. I just knew it was gonna come together. So some of my favorite pieces are like these wing pieces that were part of a mural. And I just love the colors on this. It feels hippie and luxurious. It really reminds me of like, the times that we spent um, as kids in my parents' friends' houses, you know, that hippie vibe where everything was like just mishmash and gorgeous and there was all these patterns. The sink, just love it. So it's a wooden cabinet and it has a Mexican sink placed into it. Got it for a super great deal. Um, I love looking on sites like OfferUp and Craigslist because you just find some real gems. And we have a compost toilet in here. It's fancy and expensive, but it's not cute. So we're going to keep that out of the camera. To have this wagon in my backyard, I feel like I've been honored with it, you know? I feel like I've been honored with the task of taking care of this. I can feel the responsibility of holding on to this important piece of history. And I also feel like I want as many people as I can get to experience this. We always had a vision of what we wanted up here. And so it's been really beautiful watching this happen and following through with our dreams has been fun.